The criminal justice system has a set of rights created to protect you. But do you think it's really protecting us? You had a right to remain silent, but that really means you had a right to be silenced, doubted, interrogated, suspected. The color of your skin can and will be. Hey, I ain't no gangster, I ain't no killer, I ain't no gangbanger. I'm me, like everybody making mistakes. That's like, I ain't one fucking person who ain't making mistakes. You feel me? Man, like, we, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know if I'm targeted. I don't know if it's from what I speak about. Like, I don't know. I don't know shit until I'm dead, I'm gonna be me. You're still not free. When you're an ex-con, they had a right to deny you a bank account, deny you a mortgage, deny you a job, deny your vote. And if you don't remain perfect, with the smallest slip up, smallest infraction, the most honest mistake, you're gonna join us, the 80% who come back to prison within five years. They didn't bring us here to thrive. They brought us here to build this. The plantation and the prison are actually no different. The past is the present. It ain't no coincidence. This was the plan since abolition, to keep us subjugated by creating this system. But I believe in a different set of rights. The right to stand up and be heard. The right to reform a broken justice system and build a new future. We had the right to be silent. I'm the best in the nation. <laughs>